Hello and welcome to Laura Dreams. I'm Laura and I shake you warmly by the hand, metaphorically speaking, which is always the most hygienic way to do it. Welcome, if this is your first time here, and if you're coming back, uh, slight apologies for being absent for so long. Life happens and some things take away the time from editing YouTube videos. And while I'm indeed working on some bigger projects that seem to be quite time and soul consuming, I wanted to show up for you with something pleasant. So this is one of those projects that you're waiting until they're truly perfect and finished until you can share them with people. And it's been many months since I started and finished these series and even though some of them still don't feel finished, I thought that, what the heck, maybe I'm being too much of a perfectionist. So this is a series of mixed media bee-themed paintings that was created over last year in two parts. They were all created very similarly to a puzzle, one piece at a time, and as I got ideas that I worked on, some steps were repeated, altered, and if I say so myself, improved. Overall, it was a fun project. I started with these three hexagonal canvases that were meant to combine one of the sacred geometries of nature, hexagons, and natural crystal gems to create a true healing art piece. I wanted them to have depth, more than just paint can create. So I did end up using some gel medium to add real texture to the honeycomb, thus making it stand out more and creating more three-dimensionality that I wasn't really happy with what I could create with just the paint. I did end up repeating some of the steps, but I think it just adds more to the richness of the color and having ideas to improve your art in the process is always good, even if you have to repeat a step or undo some things. I also use some acrylic markers for the thin lines because you might know how difficult it is to create consistent clean lines with a paintbrush. They were very useful. Most of the paint that I was used to paint these is Arteza acrylic paint and I left some useful links and resources in the description for you to check out. Here you can see how that gel medium adds texture to the honeycomb pattern. I really wanted them to stand out and look more like a real honeycomb. Then I ended up painting over them to even everything out and to cover any holes and inconsistencies that the gel created. The gel did take a couple of days to fully dry, so I painted over that when they were fully dry. Here you can see the process in 
live time. It was quite, quite time consuming to create all the shading and all the light um, highlights. And uh, so it was a very back and forth, layer after layer sort of process, but I think it was worth it. Then I added some gold paint to accent the top of the honeycomb patterns and they created such a cool and beautiful sparkle. These are the paintings after stage one is finished, that is the painting process is complete, so here comes the fun part. I added yellow aventurine points for the larger canvas and I adhered the points to each corner of the canvas with Gorilla Glue. The medium one has yellow citrine hexagons that are so clear and pretty added to the middle where the honey is pouring out. The smaller one, I decided to give it a frame of citrine chips to the edges. I thought that would be quite nice. For the finishing touch, I miss, mixed some epoxy resin to seal them and give them the depth, shine and richness that resembles the nobility of honey. I hope I have represented it right. They, are, they all dried perfectly and they are now available for purchase in my mural dreams shop if you must own one of these. Resin is a really interesting substance to work with. It gives a luscious thick coat to seal canvas paintings and you can use it in many other ways. There are some things to keep in mind when using resin. We use gloves, mix the two parts very thoroughly uh, for at least a minute. Work fast before the resin mixture starts to get thick and hot in the cup. Work in a well -vent ventilated area as it tends to smell even the ones that they consider low odor. Use a torch to pop the air bubbles and work swiftly, not touching the flame to the surface. And probably the most important step is to cover the resin surface until it dries, especially if you work in a dusty area or have pets that shed. Insects also like to commit fatal self-harm in non-covered drying resin surfaces, so uh, you've been warned. A while had passed and a friend asked if I could do one for her but with uh, amber gems instead of the gems that I have used. So eventually I started on a second mini-series. I only have two of them depicted in this video. The Undisturbed Bee, of which I have also made a mural on my garage door, which is a seasonal mural. You can check that out. I left a link in the description and a bee pollen one that I have yet to add the amber to. I am still undecided where the amber should go, maybe on the outside frame, like the last one. I'm still deciding. 
the last and the largest painting is a bee on a bud <laughs> that I have worked on during some live streams on my YouTube channel and I don't seem to have the footage for that but you can check out the live if you want. I really enjoyed using the black 3.0 paint for the bee pollen one. It adds some amazing contrast and a deep velvety black that is super satisfying. Let me know what you think about this bee series and if you want to see any more insect related paintings. I do have a slight obsession with macro photography of insect portraits. On my computer I have a folder of over hundreds of photographs that are just waiting to be immortalized with paint on canvas. So you can subscribe to this channel if you're still here and give this video a pet if you liked it. And until next time, stay creative and trust the flow. Wanna hear the ocean roar Crash over me Then ride it home Dance it up in moonlight Hold me tight and don't let go Watch over me We are, we are all Stardust, stardust, stardust Left behind, left to find Find one another We are all, we are all one. We are all, we are all one. We are all, we are all one. We are, we are all.